we think that there are four characteristics of if we were to pursue a CBDC, it would at a minimum have the following four characteristics. First is intermediated. Second is private, privacy protected. But third is identity verified. So it would not be anonymous. It would not be an anonymous bearer instrument. And fourth is transferable or interoperable. So, so, so frankly, Ripple is probably the only um, topic I'm, I'm, I just I can't talk about. Um, so <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I just, I just, I just, it's, uh, it's, it's, I just have to talk about it. Uh, we come. Um, you take the red coin. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. If you got a bag, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast. No coffee. Just straight extra. Extra. Bullishness. Shout out to the latest sub in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead, throw on those pilot shades. And buckle up, because the future is extra, extra bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We have the total global cryptocurrency market cap today. 971 billion down about 0.6% in the past 24 hours. We got XRP right under 45 cents, down about 6% in the past 24 hours, up about 15% in the past seven days. We got BTC right around 19K, ETH 1300, and we got Stellar XLM in the number 29 spot, 11 cents, down about 3.2 in the past 24. The move to ISO 222 not only marks the dawn of a new era in payments, but also in financial crime compliance. It's underpinned by better data quality and better data structure, which are enablers for better compliance outcomes. Also, the transfer of value. Breaking scoop, I received a copy of Bill Hemmings' public calendar covering the entire tenure while at the SEC Gov. It's extensive, 189 pages worth of which I'm still combing through, but here are some of the standouts. Wednesday, March 28th, 11 a.m., Hinman had a scheduled meeting with Scott Cooper, managing partner of A16Z. Thursday, March 29th, Hinman had a scheduled meeting with consensus in the SEC Corporation Finance. Friday, April 6th, Hinman had a scheduled meeting titled Call MTGRE ETH. Thursday, April 12th, a meeting titled Ether. Monday, April 23rd, scheduled meeting with Ethereum Joseph. And on the day Hinman gave his famous speech at Yahoo Finance All Market Summit, there is a scheduled meeting with Ripple Council and Valerie S. at 10 a.m. More to come. The AI says, so he was on the phone with Bill Hinman in the lead up to the ETH free pass. Then when the ETH gate shit hits the fan, the same guy goes to DC to talk about the disadvantaged folks in the token investing when they are disadvantaged directly because of the ETH free pass. Unbelievable. If the SEC is enforced to turn over the emails and the documents related to the Hinman speech, the case will not settle. Sandy Young today with LMA Appeals, City Given Day, was one for the books because Ripple we got to raise money for good causes alongside other UK companies. What a great day. London ready. Foolish or bullish, <laughs> the New York Times recognizes that Bitcoin is holding strong as fiat currencies fell. Bullish. They're still pushing the BTC narrative. Wrath of K, getting the story straight. Asian Net Company Limited, a Japanese money transfer co, which operates as OK Remit, partnered with Coins PH and launched an ODL service via SBI BC Trade. They noted the elimination of pre-funding, lower expenses, and freeing up capital. The OK Remit announcement coincided with the SBI reorganization in which SBI VC Trade now serves as the on-demand liquidity connection, allowing multiple orgs to connect through it. It was a bit confusing at first, but originally on-demand liquidity was housed by SBI Remit. All roads lead to the bridge, XRP. Interoperability will be key. Additionally, Asian Net Co. works with SBI Remit in a Japanese Vietnam quarter, but as Asian Net Co., not OK Remit, they also have offices in Taiwan, Indonesia, Thailand, in addition to Vietnam. Conclusion Asian Net Company Limited, DBA OK Remit, connected to CoinPH via an on demand liquidity connection through SBI VC trade that SBI Ripple Asia provided. View. I should clarify things. What a wild business. Ripple still hiring. Voyager CEO resigns. Celsius CEO resigns. Kraken CEO resigns. Terra CEO resigns. MicroStrategy CEO resigns. Compute North CEO resigns. As the bear market continues, many of the crypto criminals are running away as their Ponzi schemes collapse. Meanwhile, Ripple still hiring. Intermission. Funeral recap thus far. Blackberry. Mr. Intuitive.
RIP to the fallen cryptocurrencies. Celsius Mashinsky just announced he's quitting. The criminal ran a massive Ponzi scheme and now is probably going to retire on his mega yacht. Lock him up. Coil's been really active lately. Interledger was created from day one with a singular purpose. Let's solve the problem of interoperability, not with just blockchains, but with all ledgers. XRP, the future of payments. Treasury functions, XRP, XLM, stablecoins, so-called stablecoins, KPMG report. Makes you wonder the new design for the XRP ledger sidechains makes it easier for developers to get started with sidechains. Looking ahead, we're working on EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine sidechain, to allow even more developers easy access to the XRPL's feature set and bring in existing Solidity-based smart contracts written on the EVM-compatible chains to the XRP ledger. This first step in bringing this to life will be a DevNet release, and we're excited to update on our progress in the coming weeks. Bank XRP, Ripple can meet all of the needs for the U.S. central bank digital currency. Will Ripple play a role with the feds, CBDC? We think that there are four characteristics of if we were to pursue a CBDC, it would at a minimum have the following four characteristics. First is intermediated. Second is private, privacy protected. But third is identity verified. So it would not be anonymous. It would not be an anonymous bearer instrument. And fourth is transferable or interoperable. So so we're, we would be looking to balance privacy protection with identity verification, which is which has to be done, of course, in today's traditional banking system as well. Whatever it is, it's going to need a bridge. XRP, the Ripple Ripple Net. Apex Crypto says major U.S. markets close in the red while crypto markets are 24 hours in the green. This has only happened three times in history of crypto. The third time is in 2022, one step closer to crypto decoupling from the stocks. Amazing session at QuarterCon 2022, regional currencies and security token initiatives in Japan, SBI Holdings, Corda, R3, SBI Japan. R3 launches the universal settler application to facilitate global payments on its Corda, XRP, the first settlement mechanism, XRP. All roads lead to the bridge. Also, SBI Remit teams up with Ripple to power instant remittances between Japan and Thailand. And also, don't forget, SBI CEO, every bank in Japan will use Ripple's XRP by 2025. Load up while you still have some time. Riz XRP, R3 CTO, Richard J. Brown. As a, as a company, I know there's always you know, some extracurricular you know, activity that was working its way through the courts, but... Um, and, and, and it's since been resolved, but, but uh, I'm curious if there's ongoing discussions since one of their primary focuses is, is on the, the uh, interbank settlement component that you're also touching. So frankly, Ripple is probably the only um, topic I'm, I'm, I'm just, I can't talk about. Um, so <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I just, I just, I just, it's, uh, it's, it's, sure. I just have to talk about it. Uh, like, um, I'm, Keep it on the down low. Ripple partner Volante Technologies, the global leader in cloud payments and financial messaging, today announced that ACH Columbia, financial technology company, has gone live with a new banking portal. A part of a wider payments modernization, ACH Columbia is digitizing their entire payment operation with Volante, allowing faster onboarding and higher personalization. All roads lead to the bridge. XRP. BPM wallets with the release of XLS20. On the not-so-distant horizon, now is a great time to secure your BPM Revelers NFT whitelist spot. Did you know that holding 75k BPM tokens at this point of the snapshot to be announced gets you an automatic whitelist for our project? Now you do secure your whitelist. Also, the monthly BPM airdrops. Get in BPM for the win. VChain, in just three hours, VChain has pumped for almost 700,000 transactions for the biggest company in the world. Walmart, no spam, no token shuffling. Real road, economically beneficial on the chain activity, one company with thousands to come. VChain is the future of blockchain. VChain, where my VChain homies at. Casino Coin, Flare Finance is building a bridge for Casino Coin, later XRP Ledger. That will be one of their next two product releases. We hope to see this in Q4 2022 and we'll launch a campaign around it in Q1 2023. Casino Coin, anybody? Famous analysis says XRP is going to go to the moon. As the ongoing SEC lawsuit moves towards the end, first off the moon, then we blast off for another party on another planet. Donald said if Bitcoin stays north of 21K, he would only sell XRP at a price above a buck, if not two bucks or three bucks. He also highlighted that XRP currently trading just above the resistant levels and 90 cents would be a realistic price mark for investors to target. 
Also, do you remember Conspiracy Theories, XRP, XRP 21 mil, Stellar, 500k, where will you be when that rocket takes flight? And with that being said, back man and back ladies, there's been a lot of questions here on the Flare Networks, Airdrop, Flare, Spark. So first off, there was a snapshot, the first validated XRP ledger with the timestamp greater or equal to 00 GMT on 12-12-20 if you had any XRP for the snapshot. And then you had to claim the Spark tokens. If you self-custody, the method of claiming the Spark token is simply to set the message key on your XRP ledger address to your Flare address. To claim the Spark, you must do this by the six months of the snapshot dates. So if you had any XRP for the snapshot on 12-12-20, you had then six months to claim and set your message message key if you did so you were eligible for the airdrop if not what happens to the spark that's not claimed six months after the date of the snapshot they are burned flare uses the ethereum vm virtual machine for smart contracts flare addresses are ethereum style that uses the same key derivation scheme flare addresses are not on the ethereum blockchain so once again you had to have had xrp on 12 12 20 for the snapshot then you had six months to set up your message key also, some of the exchanges participated. If you had any XRP on those exchanges, those exchanges will be distributing your Flare tokens. Be on the lookout for your Flare tokens. I also had multiple tutorials on all of this if you're around back on 12, 12, 20. Shout out to all the OGs. With that being said, I am the Moon Commander, the XRP Bagman, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Buy up that bag. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button. We'll catch you up here top floor for the boom party. BYOB. Bring your own bag. Peace out, crypto ghost. It was nothing. Castle, 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 cast